What could possibly go wrong this whole entire rest of this day? Hey there, friends. Welcome to episode 11 of the Great Detective Legacy Challenge. Like the title for this video has suggested, there was a lot of ups and downs, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of happiness. So let's just go ahead and jump into the video and see what happened. Well, it is a happy moment because Stephanie is getting ready to age up. And this again was kind of a little bit recorded before the new expansionist came out. So I don't have all that cool infant update stuff yet. But I am excited. I am going to end up giving her the angelic trait. I've kind of tried to pick every single trait that was available. I think there's new ones now that are available. So eh, I'm going to not make it hard on myself. And I am going to end up kind of also uh, breaking fourth wall, I guess, from story wise line that I'm going to end up doing, um, live reaction stuff instead of me doing recorded stuff and then me reacting to it later. So it, it's the content's going to change up just a little bit. I had to get some stuff set up before because normally I, I have a work computer, which is this one and a non-work computer, which is what I play the Sims on. So I had to move some things around, but Stephanie has aged up and she is angelic oh happy happy moment all right babsby is back to work and on the case for her great detective and she is going to go and investigate a crime scene now to start off with this crime scene i gotta take let's see take a crime scene picture get a report from a witness and collect some clues so we're gonna go ahead and start collecting clues I know Babsby's tired, but crime does not sleep. Although it does take a vacation sometimes because, you know, my sim doesn't go to work, so it gets solved later. Now it looks like we have some cameo characters because I recognize one of them as uh, the daughter of the goth family. I'm not sure which one. I'm still not familiar with all like the base game sims. But it kind of seems like someone has came into the home and vandalized it. Their computer's broken. It, you know, it just kind of seems like a lot of terrible things have happened to these people. Cassandra Goth. There we go. And Nancy. So, Babsby's just going to kind of plug along and talk to all of these, um sims to see what kind of information and i kind of like the fact that i've never seen babsby do this of just like sit on the bed like she's you know gossiping it out with everybody <laughs> so tell me about your day okay what did you see who do you think is the culprit of vandalizing and stealing your stuff tell me tell me everything you know and it's not nancy it's macy I'm telling you, I cannot read. <laughs> I might need new glasses. <laughs> Once we have finished slumber partying it out, I went and did my detective work, and this is the suspect that I think is the culprit of vandalizing and stealing the stuff from the house. So let's go ahead and just arrest her. Stern talking to. We're going to ignore the fact that somebody is in the background in my office, but you know. <sighs> I feel like this is not the first time I have arrested this character either. Why do we keep just letting her on the streets? We don't lock people up in the Sims? Except for the four Sims that are always locked up here. They live here. I should honestly like put some food and stuff in their cell and see if they end up eating it. <laughs> but... You know what? She's sweating, she's worried, and she is guilty. Confess to your crimes. All right, another case done. Lock her up. And I feel like she's underdressed for the fact that it's winter time, but you know, 
Let's go talk to the chief of police and tell him that we've done a fabulous job closing another case. After talking to the chief, Babsby decided she needed to work out and get swole because at the end of this shift, we got promoted to chief. We are chief of police. Yeah. I'm excited for that. That's the highest you can actually get in the detective career. Although you can continue to get pay raises as you go. So there's still an incentive to keep going to work. But Babsby is happy. We have aged up Stephanie. We have gotten promoted to chief. What could possibly go wrong this whole entire rest of this day? Or week, I suppose, since this is a week in The Sims' life. So I noticed that Mayor Whiskers... I don't like the fact that they just, like, kill over and fall asleep. But I noticed kind of Mr. Whiskers wasn't feeling all 100%, but we got him some food. Had one of the kids do it. Ignore that guy walking around. I have a nanny because I needed help. Everything was breaking. I, I needed assistance. <laughs> but I noticed Mayor Whiskers was kind of a little bit red. So Babsby, as Mayor Whiskers is her detective companion, because I decided that at the beginning of the series, that each great detective needs a pet companion of some kind. So I sent Babsby down to figure out, let's do some sleuthing to figure out what's wrong with Mayor Whiskers. And apparently there's something wrong with his litter box, which is weird because I've seen him using it, but he's just very unhappy about his litter box. So I quickly went into build mode and maybe thought the dr drying rack slash ironing board stuff was in the way. Maybe it was clipping weird, so I was like, okay. We're gonna just move some stuff out of the way, and since I have two cats, even though I have, like, the laser focus litter box, which I kind of wish I had in real life for my three cats, I figured, you know what, maybe he just needs another litter box. You know, maybe they both have to poop at the same time. You know, no one likes a cue outside of the litter box. Which, funny enough, my cats do do that. And if one's in the litter box, the other one waits. <laughs> Cats are odd like that. But I got him a second litter box, made sure everything was able to get to where it needed to be, and told Babsby, just love him up. Just give him some love. He's your little baby boy in his cute little top hat and bow. Just love him up. It's gonna be all okay. I don't know why the nanny's just chilling in my bathroom, but whatever. Love them up. There we go. Whew. I got a kid I'm fixing the dryer. The litter box looks like. They can do that? I was trying desperately to get Mayor Whiskers to come back. <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. No, <laughs> he just left. I couldn't get him to come back. Now, as a pet owner in real life, this is actually my worst fear of my cats running away. <laughs> And I honestly, I instantly went to Google. I was like, tell me I can get my cat back. And you are able to. You put out a thing on uh, Simsgram saying your cat's missing and he will come back. It's not cruel to you to the point that your abandoned pet does not come back. But even now I'm tearing up because I honestly was in tears when this happened. I'm like, my baby boy just ran away. It's a digital cat, but still it's like, as a pet owner, you feel that. You feel, ugh. The heartache. <laughs> but uh, sadly enough, I'm going to leave it on this sad note of the video. We're going to have to just stay tuned and see when Mayor Whiskers comes back. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider giving a like. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make videos every week. And not this depressing, but this is The Sims. Well, I hope I didn't bring you to tears. And if I did, I'm sorry. But I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.